We are back again with some more Paul Harvey. I've checked out one of his videos, one of his recordings called Freedom to Chains that he recorded back in 1965. Turn out a lot of y'all or some of your parents, uncles, aunts, grandparents were huge fans of Paul Harvey back in the day. And I see why. I see why he got that, that perfect radio voice. But um, the substance was what I guess a lot of you all fell in love with. Because what he said way back then still rings true in 2022. I see why his perspective. If I were the devil, if I were the devil, if I were the prince of darkness, I'd want to engulf the whole world in darkness. And I'd have a third of its real estate and four fifths of its population. But I wouldn't be happy until I had seized the ripest apple on the tree. Oof. The. Oof. So I'd set about however necessary. Dude starts off hot already. Apple on the tree. The. the. I wonder what that V mean. That V. I, ah, I wish I was really into. Ah, dang it, man. I'm sure that means that means something. That means something, and I'm missing it. It went over my dang on head. Dang it. Happy until I had seized the ripest apple on the tree. V. So I'd set about, however necessary, to take over the United States. I'd subvert the churches first. I'd begin with a campaign of whispers. With the wisdom of a serpent, I would whisper to you as I whispered to Eve. Do as you please. To the young, I would whisper that the Bible is a myth. I would convince them that man created God instead of the other way around. I would confide that what's bad is good and what's good is square. Exactly what's going on right now. Those same whispers are going through churches. Do as you please. God forgives. We are all made of filthy rags. Feel free to do you. Feel free to just be whoever you are. God will love you regardless. There's no rules in this. God could care less how you act. He still, you still going to heaven as long as right before you die, you say, God, forgive me, I love you. I made it to heaven. Wow. I will tell everybody that man made God. That that whole picture of God that you got in your in your room. That's one of the things that or in your living room, like black households. I don't know about you all's, but almost every black household used to have a picture of white Jesus on the wall. Oh, yeah. And I had to spe specify white because that lend into the whole uh, movement of, you know, man made that up, right? Man made that up just to control you, right? Look at the slaves. They controlled the slaves with it. Then when they tried to read it for themselves, they was like, no, 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 you can't read it. It's for us. We got to read it to you. <laughs> wow. Okay. The other way around, I would confide that what's bad is good and what's good is square. square. <laughs> and the old I would teach to pray. Oh, what's good is square. Oh, that can mean so many things. I don't know if y'all remember back in the day when, um, when that term used to be out, when they used to call people who were nerdy or when people who colored in the lines or um, people who walk the straight and narrow, they will call them square. I will, I will, I will convince people that that what is good is square. I'm sure he probably meant something else, but that definitely ties into that too because that happens. What's good and what's good is square. square. Uh huh. And the old I would teach to pray after me, our Father, which art in Washington. Ha. <laughs> And then I'd get organized. I'd educate authors in how to make lurid literature exciting so that anything else would appear dull and uninteresting. I'd threaten TV with dirtier movies and vice versa. I'd peddle oh, narcotics to... Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. He said, I'll educate authors in how to make lurid literature. Oh, nasty, exciting literature. Put that nastiness inside of books. It tricked me to read books. I would say that. And then, hold on, and then, um, so that anything else would appear dull and uninteresting, hold on, and then he said, hold on, what was the next Interesting, part? I threatened TV with... I threatened TV with dirtier movies and vice versa. <laughs> so then they started to train you up to be, um, to desensitize you with the, with the um, type of stuff that they put inside of um, movies and TV shows. And now, and now... 
cartoons and now kid shows. That's the same as like Sesame Street, those type of kid shows. They're putting that type of stuff in kid shows. Dirtier movies and TV shows and vice versa. Yeah, definitely have literature exciting so that anything else would appear dull and uninteresting. I'd threaten TV with dirtier movies and vice versa. I'd peddle narcotics to whom I could. I'd sell alcohol to ladies and gentlemen of distinction. I'd I'll peddle narcotics to who I could. That's happening both inside of the hospitals and that's happening out in the streets. And we all know that. And then you already know about alcohol. My gracious, it's one of those on every corner almost. My I'd peddle goodness. narcotics to whom I could. I'd sell alcohol to ladies and gentlemen of distinction. I'd tranquilize the rest with pills. Ooh. If I were the devil, I'd soon have families at war with themselves, churches at war with themselves, and nations at war with themselves. Which is also happening. You would think that this brother... No, no, I got a question for you because all of us are touched by the Lord. I can't say some of us. But some of us have that forethought. Some of us have that gift of discernment. Okay? And uh, it seemed like this brother was blessed with that. Where it seemed like... It almost seemed like um, he, he was a time traveler who came all the way to 2022 and then went back and told everybody what to look out for. Because he's saying exactly everything that's going on right now. If I were the devil, I'd soon have families at war, which has been happening for centuries. Um, churches at war, which definitely happens. Nations at war with themselves. This is all with themselves. Families with themselves, not with other families. Churches with themselves. Nations with themselves. So that's exactly what's happening. A lot of this is going on right now. As we speak, we are going to get going at each other's neck like crazy right now. I don't know if it's some of us are doing it for power. Some of us are doing it out of concern because we see things going down the wrong path. And, and some of us are doing it out of greed. Um, many different reasons why we're doing it, but it's definitely in fighting. Until each in its turn was consumed and with promises of higher ratings, I'd have mesmerizing media fanning the flame Ooh, man this brother sound man i swear to goodness you would think that he was on the psychic network for real call me now call me now i'll tell you your i'll tell you your future call me now you know what i mean one of those type of things if i were the devil i would encourage schools to refine young intellects but neglect to discipline emotions just let those run wild until before you knew it, you'd have to have drug-sniffing dogs and metal detectors at every schoolhouse door. Wow! I'm sorry to be overreacting, but am I overreacting? Okay, am I alone? I will ask that. Am I alone in believing that this brother is pretty much describing today to a T? How does he know this? The fourth... Oh, come on, man. Within a decade... I'd have prisons overflowing. Wow. I'd have judges promoting pornography. Wow. Soon I could evict God from the courthouse, then from the schoolhouse, and then from the houses of Congress. Yeah. Okay, first of all, okay, first, okay, I'm, I'm going to tell you this. Um, when I was first listening to it, I was, uh, of course, I was intrigued. Why? Because I'm being introduced to another gentleman who was who is another very intelligent guy who knows a great deal and clearly has researched a bunch, but has his own um, understanding of things as well. But I was, I was excited when I was listening to it. I'm obviously intrigued. Now it's becoming a little scary. Because what he's saying is almost like, and I mean no disrespect when I say that, it, when I say this, it, it almost comes as if God is speaking directly through him. Not like he's sitting there like a zombie or with his eyes in the back of his head and his mouth is just moving because he don't know that he's been taken over by the spirit or something like that. And then when God jumps out or whenever the, whenever the, the devil jumps out, he becomes himself again. He comes back to himself. This right here is crazy. Y'all already know that people are trying to get God, keep God out of everything. 
And when you try to put God back into something, it becomes a huge problem. It becomes a huge problem. Wow, man. This is this is this is this is nuts, man. This is y'all got me dad going stuttering like Kareen um Pierre Jean Pierre. What, what's her name? Kareen Jean 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 I forgot it. I know it's French. Could evict God from the courthouse, then from the schoolhouse, and then from the houses of Congress. And in his own churches, I would substitute psychology for religion and deify science. I would lure priests and pastors into misusing boys and girls and church money. Wow. If I were the devil, I'd make the symbol of Easter an egg and the symbol of Christmas a bottle. The symbol of Easter an egg. The symbol for Christmas a bottle. Now, in the bottle part, I don't get. The egg part, clearly, we already know. I don't know what the hell an egg got to do with Easter. But, hey, 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 you know what I mean? I, who am I? Who am I to tell you that God dying and then coming back to, um, then, then coming back three days later is not representative of, of an egg? I don't know the history of an egg. I don't know the, the ancestry of a chicken. Huh? I don't even know which one came first. We, we've been asked that many, many times. I think the chicken came first because God made two of everything, every animal, and then, you know what I mean? But maybe he made two of, of, of two eggs or, or just one. Or maybe, according to today, he probably made a man, two, two men eggs, and they were still able to, create a whole bunch of eggs, I mean chickens from um from from those two men eggs. From all I know, according to psychology, you know they do more so um cater towards your emotion than they do your intellect nowadays. As he said earlier in this, come on now, this joint is spot on. For the devil, I'd make the symbol of Easter an egg and the symbol of Christmas a bottle. If I were the devil, I'd take from those who have and give to those who wanted until I had killed the incentive of the ambitious. Wow. Wow. This dude said, I would take from those who have and give to those who want it until I had killed the incentive of the ambitious, the people who are actually doing what they're supposed to do, going out there and getting to the money, getting to that bag, getting to that legacy for their family. They're going to strip them away of what? Overtax them, tax, 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 so that they can be able to give to those who just, I don't feel like doing everything that they did, but I want it. I don't feel like going out there and learning everything they did, but I want some of what they got. I want the same health care they got. I want the same food they got. I want the same housing they got, and I don't want to pay for Jack. I think they should pay for it. They owe it to us. This is crazy, man. This is, this is, this is, I told you this is scary. And what'll you bet? I couldn't get whole states to promote gambling as the way to get rich. Wow. I would caution wow. against extremes in hard work, in patriotism, in moral conduct. I will caution against extremes in hard work. Come on, man, you're working too hard. Come on, life is more, more life is about more than just going out there and 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 and, and putting meat on meat on the table for your family. <laughs> Have some fun. Come on. And patriotism, come on. Why are you always talking about the flag? Why are you always talking about America this, America that? Come on. What you wanted them? You wanted them, you're up. Somebody called me an op one time. Said, I'm the opposition. I am against the people because I am now. It's just ridiculous. And in moral conduct, ridiculous. I would convince the young that marriage is old-fashioned, that swinging is more fun, that what you see on TV is the way to be. That's happening, too. Everybody is now considering, if you go on TikTok, you will see that everybody are considering dating outside of their relationship or bringing more people into their relationship or um, getting married to more than one person like certain religions um, do. <laughs> this is nuts, man. And thus I could undress you in public, and I could lure you into bed with diseases for which there is no cure. 
In other words, if I were the devil, I'd just keep right on doing what he's doing. Paul Harvey. Wow. Wow. Paul Harvey, if I were the devil. If I were the devil, I'd just keep on doing right what he's doing. Because everything that he's doing is, he's getting it done right now. And people don't even know that they're being used. People don't even know that they're being taken, co taken over. They, they actually believe that they're, they're righteous. They believe in fair more than they do God. Please let me know whatever it is you want me to know in the comments below. And if you have yet to hit that subscribe button, please make sure you do so on your way out the door. Once again, guys, I'm Van, and now we are all the LFR family. And I look forward to seeing you on the next video and hopefully inside the Patreon as well. You all have been amazing per usual. Keep on suggesting fire so that we can make sure that we figure out what the heck's going on and get to the bottom of it and come together and be able to fix things ourselves because we can't depend on anyone else to do it. It's going to take us to do this, okay? All right, I'll see y'all next time. Love y'all.